Hello, hello everyone. Time for more Ace Attorney. Fucking finally. I'm wanting to play more for <laughs> for all week. I missed playing Ace Attorney, but hi, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. I should. Have. I mean, I had a bit of an headache earlier, but got better. I got pain. I took a painkiller, and now I'm doing way better. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna. Hello. Kind of emotes to get gift itself. Oh my god, you're still about to gift itself. Wait, what? Hello. Hello. How's the audio? Dream, how's the audio? I had to mess some things because of 14, uh, 14 raid. Hello. I think it was fine when I was listening to it. Hmm. Let's do some talking so people can actually <laughs> test. I am talking, I am speaking right now. I am completely producing <laughs> volume out of my mouth. <laughs> I think it sounds good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Alright, as long as, yeah. Well then. Let's go. Cool. We but... just need the stinky Discord stream. <laughs> oh yeah. I keep forgetting I am a dumbass. I'm very hyped. I'm sure we will finish this trial and probably start the next one. We finish episode 2, yeah, for sure. Yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. I wanna... I don't even remember what the third one is. It's probably like the... The, not the, I'm not gonna one. spoil it, but I think I remember. Hmm. Oh, stream. I'm very curious what's gonna happen next. Ho ho ho. Mm -hmm. Well then, sh just get to it. Yeah. Let's go! Let's go, let's go. Oh, the select the save data, yes. September 7, 3, 11 p.m. Detention center visitors room. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. <laughs> what? A dank place. Oh my god. Hmm. I'm not sure I actually know the meaning of that word. Uh, it's it's really quite moving. I forgot how I did her words. Not you stinking liar, I hope you die. The fuck? You come to laugh. Laugh at the fall in this May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Have you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. <laughs> uh. Oh, what is it you wish to, uh, wish to ask of me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? <laughs> I should just talk to her. Yes. That man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Uh. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. Now wait, Jonathan. Hmm. 
Maybe if I had something together to talk. Oh yeah, I bet you gotta present that attorney bench. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, yeah sure. Fine. Let's put it in short. <laughs> Hey, guess what? Me, I, um, really hate your guts. <laughs> I get lost. First of all, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. <laughs> Hi, Char. Also, Fishy Tails. Fishy Tails Tails? Thanks for the follow, I completely... <laughs> I was meant to say it, but I just... That completely left my mind in one second. <laughs> Thanks, I noticed. The <laughs> oh, wiretap. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Ah, uh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cool. It's a criminal. And um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in law, your school home. Huh? Creep! This woman is impossible to talk to. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> your attitude, oh boy. Mm. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it. Bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer. Bottom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to screenshot this. <laughs> God damn, I don't remember anything about this game. <laughs> I was too young back then. <laughs> but bottom? <laughs> Oh god. You gotta send me the screenshot. I need this as a reaction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like. Kind of like the you are not a clown. You are the entire. A screenshot like that, even though that one's not even real. <laughs> oh, I yeah. wish we could see Phoenix's face. Yeah. Yeah. In, I guess you never get to see the. Not the investigations. Yeah. I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? <laughs> so we have to present Why not both? something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't. Her testimony, maybe? The wiretap? Huh. Or the wiretap? Hey, guess what? Yeah, this was just a scene that we had. Oh. Yeah, it's just the not the same thing. I don't know. Maybe we just don't actually have anything against her yet. But it did spawn us in here, so... It yeah, spawned us in here and it did say, what if I present this one? Hmm. But she, yeah, yeah, when she gets, when she gets pissed. Uh, when she goes into the, into angry mode, just gets. <laughs> I just hmm. I just write testimony. Huh. I think I just write testimony. No. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we can just like more or less skip through if it's wrong yeah, anyway. Yeah. Is it just <laughs> trial and error? What even is that broken glass? It's uh, the light stand. Broken uh, remains no of a glass light stand, broken beyond all recognition. Where was this found? I don't even remember this. It's found in the... in the office, I think. Yeah. Oh. I don't know why it should be important, though. <laughs> well, we have it, and so I'm sure it will be Maybe important. Maybe we just have to point. investigate a bit. Maybe. I mean, if we need to present something to her, then I'm guessing it's probably in the hotel room? Yeah. September 7th, Fan Call Offices. 
Looks like forensics is taking the day off today. Detective like Gumshoe is nowhere inside. Police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around though. Charlie. Me his favorite pot of plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. Ooh. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. You can cram more legal books in here even if you wanted to. All the cases that the chief worked on are filed here. Hmm, are some of the files missing? I'm imagining things. Yeah, there's not much to do here. Let's go to the hotel. Let's go. September 7, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Oh. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I se dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell, as the hotel where the murderer uses the wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It'll be great for business, sir. Interesting. Whoa, whoa, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I too will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer ice coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? Oh, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there is anything I can bring you. Yeah, information. Oh, yes. Miss May. About Miss May. Oh, her, sir. Not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She do it, I said. <laughs> What? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. <laughs> the man with May. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon me, pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. Hmm. What? What? Um. <laughs> there we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. <laughs> <laughs> he had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo, hmm. You tell me about this hotel. Absolutely, and on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Mate. <laughs> what? Well, what do you think? Genius. Um, sounds great! Whatever floats your tea set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I wanna snoop. We should snoop around. Yeah. That a screwdriver. And there's still a screwdriver stuck in that drawer. Ah, please leave that as it is, sir. God damn it, let me touch it! <laughs> let me. Fucking touch it! That's the drawer of terror, hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. Oh my god. It's said to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious. I don't believe it. Ah, a still seen painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever, one of those is hanging on the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice sweater again today. 
I can see the fan go off, this is of course. Ah, yes, we plan to install a telescope on that no. window, of course. <laughs> a telescope. Oh, no. oh my god. Just five dollars will earn you three minutes of a view to a kill. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just kidding, sir. <laughs> By that look in his eyes, I'd say he was more than serious. Yeah. Bottle and two glasses rest on the table. Why hasn't he cleaned these up by now? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir, but if you could please refrain from touching those. Part of the decor, I call it the last drink before murder. <laughs> <laughs> He's really trying to make this a fucking attraction. <laughs> we'll be famous! The talk of the hotel industry! Do the flowers do anything? Simple bed. Been recently made, nothing eye catching here. Huh? Anything hidden in the flowers? A vase, as expected. I'm not good with flower names except maybe tulips and sunflowers. I think this actually, with the tulips and sunflowers, whatever, actually kind of gets mentioned sometime later. Wow. But it's like. E Ages later, it's it's not actually lore important. It's more of a funny thing. Oh. Oh, I didn't want to check. I wanted to show it to him. I'm sorry. All I could think about during the trial was the hotel. I wasn't paying much attention to the evidence. Oh. Hmm. Well, shit. Hmm. I guess we go back to her. Let me just. There has to be something we show. Just click through everything easy. Oh. Hmm. We're at that point already. <laughs> nice. We have no- I think we will. We have nothing. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me about him. I'm just reading. Maybe if I had something to get him to talk with. I'm going. To oh fight. yeah. I'm guess. Grossberg. I guess we go to Grossberg. Yay! Oh my God, the image, the pictures. <gasps> oh my God, oh. he had to sell it. September seventh, Grossberg Law Offices. Huh. That crossbow is out today again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. You know, Where I the think picture? because he d ended up not taking Maya's case, he went broke and then had to sell his picture. Mm. Yeah. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on the wall? On that wall? Yeah. No, yeah. you're imagining it. It was <laughs> a painting of. What was the painting of? Oh. I have no memory. Fisherman? Maybe. Wasn't it, wasn't it a very memorable... It wasn't a very memorable painting anyhow. No. Don't know. I see. What's this? Old photos? There's two lying... There are two lying here. It's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident Exhibit A, DL6 oh no. <laughs> Incident Exhibit B. Oh no. Just, I what? didn't know this was already mentioned in the first game, especially in the second case. <laughs> oh my god. Let's take a look at these. Spicy. Overarching lore. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. 
Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. Sure no one will miss just one little photo. It might be a valuable clue, I'll take it for now. Photograph on the back of the Ward's DL6 incident, Exhibit A, are written in pencil. Photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took? Oh, we can only take one. <gasps> no. Oh, but we could present it to uh, April May, right? And then swap again. Uh, I yeah. don't think she knows anything about the photo we just took. Oh, okay. I think actually the one on the table is most interesting. And do we swap? Yeah. I don't know if you can find out any deep lore if you keep the other pictures. I can check. Let's try and show this one to her. Oh. You again? Can't just take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now? You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. <laughs> Bald Phoenix Law. <laughs> Finally. Hmm. Any thoughts about this photograph? Who's that? Your mother? Oh, looks like I've just been wasting my time. Oof. Now I... let's try the other one. Yeah, so A is interesting, but you need B for... The story in the game. So it lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took. Swap. I think I'll swap them. Photograph on the back of the word. DL6 incident. Exhibit B are written in pencil. I can guess what the first picture is. I think I have an idea. I would like... Yeah. I would like to know if I'm... I don't... Because I don't think it says... Who that is. Maybe we do? I think we know. I can write it down and maybe if we don't get told what it was, mm. we can theorize about it. Mm -hmm. So this one. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you. <laughs> Why did you? Aha! A reaction! <laughs> this is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? <laughs> Bless. Bless you. Uh. Let's get that timestamp. <laughs> it is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room at the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. <gasps> Do you have proof that was him? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, proof, show me proof. Wait, did the emote get approved? Yes! Oh, my, my vibe God. got approved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go. Nice. I'm so close. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? I'm not telling. Look, he's being accused of murder. I don't think you want to be protecting him. <laughs> Would you have sold out the late Miss Payne to the cops? No. 
Dean. Damn. Hmm, maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Uh where do we Don't go we now? just have to present that picture to the bellboy as well because he was like yeah, if you yeah. had a picture of him I would surely remember. Oh yeah. Go to the hotel. Get that proof. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. What? Uh I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How oh, about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? A fit of it? Guy is way too excited about this. Yeah. I mean, I, right. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, mm. we have. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And then but... we can blackmail Miss Mayor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, sure, why not? Yes! I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. For Mansford, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. <laughs> Well, boys, a fit of it describes the man who stayed with Miss May at the hotel on the night of the murder. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. The game, Let's go. the game literally told it to our faces. Hmm. We have a look at this. Eh? The bell boy's a fit of it. It tells us everything he saw. Such as the men you checked in with. It was most definitely this guy. <laughs> now I'm getting somewhere. Charm. What? <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> mm. hard. Not a bottom anymore, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you don't need to ease any fears. No. No. Do no. we push? Yes. That person. This is it, all or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. <laughs> what? Oh. What? Even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. <laughs> oh, fine. I'll talk. Wow, I can't believe that worked. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. Great to be alive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you popping your foot in the air? What is that? <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> now tell me about the man you were with. Hey man, he's my boss. Red White. <laughs> Red White. The president of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Corp. <laughs> Red White. Of Blue Corp. Yeah, I just Blue gave Corp. up on this one. President of Blue Corp. Red, white. <laughs> Information gathering. Well, I suppose you could call it a, de a detective agency. Hmm. But this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. Mm. I'm, I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. Mm. Okay. Hey, <laughs> I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mm. I guess you can. Mr. Red White, at last. 
Finally a lead on this guy. April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Oh boy, is a fit of it discarded. Hmm. Blue Corp. Let's go. Number Let's seven. Be as Blue Corp Incorporated, CEO's office. Interesting painting. Hmm. What's with the surreal decor? Wants to do this, this person -ish. Is that just red white? I think it's white, yeah. I mean, it supposedly is. Oh, can please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Yeah, it is white. Who wants to do uh. white? I guess I haven't talked in a while, but I don't know. Oh, you wanna? I can do it too. Hmm, let's see, let's see. Oh, your name! What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Um, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Get it right, <laughs> right? <laughs> Hell, I'm never gonna get tired of this joke, I swear to god. Splendiferous! <laughs> Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary. <laughs> what is yeah. this guy's problem? I'm Red Wine, CEO of Blue Corp, you know, corporate expansion official. My uh, business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. Is that even what CEO means? No, I don't think so. Just making shit oh, up. Oh, it's chief yeah. executive officer. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is nothing like what he said. CEO of a bullshitting. Yeah. CEO of your mom. <laughs> Yo, so I'm <laughs> <laughs> So I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the word worldly challenge. Worldly challenge. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> what a fruitcake. Okay. Okay. Mm, Interesting way to describe him. I wanna <laughs> call him a fruitcake. No. <laughs> Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? Hmm, suspicious. That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. Mm -hmm. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yikes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Nice painting you got there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why did you get that? Hmm? Let me snoop around first. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk. My mind, no. this is quite the thing. It is modeled on my body, see? Well, does it sleek? Around the true, not inspire you. Huh? How have I seen this somewhere? Wait, I, I was want to touch the chair, but it touched. <laughs> I seen this somewhere. Is this a replica? Ridiculosity. I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original. Worth five million for sure. Hmm. 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 Suz. Impressive lineup of trophies. Judge's special runner of best participation. 
Judges Cooperation Award, Special Good Try Prize. <laughs> hmm, the words judges and special kind of stand out. Such of a man holding up the world. The blue corpse sign certainly stands out enough. The model for the man, of course, is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too beautious for you to appreci appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too beautious for just about anyone to appreciate. Yes. I guess we got everything? Oh, no. This is the top floor of a 20-story building. The view is quite presidential. Oh, I think we got everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk. Speaking time. Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretary yet. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does get the information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. Sorry. <laughs> Big yawn. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Night of the murder. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and space. Time and place. Time and space. Time and space. My motto is don't worry, be happy. <laughs> oh god. Hmm. Tell Mr. White. The hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, could put me on the witness stand. Sure, right now. Let's go. Or if this was investigation, we would just be fucking him up on the spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although, I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm. You raised a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? Should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho! The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. Blue Corp. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and you're called Red White. <laughs> oh my god, Red, White, and Blue. It makes sense now. <laughs> His name is a uh... mix of mayonnaise and ketchup. The oh, fuck? <laughs> Another Americanization. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. I th is he actually called Red, White in, Jap in Japanese as well? Let me see. Mm. It's a turny. Red white. Red white. Mm -hmm -hmm. I have one now. Uh, I'll find out soon enough.
Hmm. Okay. Going. Yeah. I read why the Blue Corp is founder and CEO named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Mm. Huh. It's, it's a bit different in Japanese. I don't think it's... I, I, hmm. It doesn't seem like it's... Mm. Any uh, interesting, any funny color thing. <laughs> mm. It is in Japanese apparently Masaru Konaka, mm. and the kanji are not very oh. interesting either. Mm. Okay, so but I, I was just curious. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the names are uh, very interesting in multiple languages, but I think they go harder in the uh, in the localization. What do you mean the kanji are not interesting? It's the kanji for small, middle, and big. Yeah, but it's not it's not color wise, right? It's no, it's no, a it's a different thing. kind of thing. small, middle, and big. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. sizes. I wonder what the corporation is called then. Hmm. <laughs> I can check that one. Fantabulistic, what is it not? <laughs> that painting. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, no, Pokemon names are also like. So a lot of them are just like puns. Yeah. Like Diglett, Diglett, Digs. <laughs> and now Wiglet as well. I love Wiglet. Wiglet will be my son in Pokemon. Okay, so apparently in the Japanese version, the Blue Corp is called Kona Karcha. And apparently. White, who was called Konaka, I think, uh, claims it's a play on a surname. Mm. So yeah, because you can write, you can pronounce the first two kanji of his name Konaka too. Mm. It does. It does make it tricky. Yeah, uh, when yeah, it's uh, the Japanese puns are always a bit different because I guess they tend to. Play a lot with the different readings of yeah, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that big painting on the wall over there. What do we say? It's gorgeous. <laughs> no. No, we need, I mean, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> but only if we could say it in an ironic voice. Yeah, when did you get it? It's probably interesting. When did you get it? Say, when did you get that painting? No remember. Hmm, no idea. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot skull emoji. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that painting before yesterday, in fact. Why do I find that painting here today? Mr. Wrong, was it? <laughs> oh my god, Mr. Wrong! <laughs> Mr. Wrong! Right. 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> it appears you do not fully grasp your, your position here. I ask again, who are you? Uh-huh, a lawyer? No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zipolada. Now they're talking Portuguese, god damn it. <laughs> Just like that, sorry excuse for an attorney, Crody Burger. Grody Burger. You actually Crody just Burger. called him Grody Burger. What? What? Got beaten up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, he punched me! Beat his ass! Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition, the police, the courts, they all do my bidding. Oh. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. Compensation? Compensation. Yeah. <laughs> you came here from Crody Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossberg's, uh, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps you will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Corpa! Corpa clap! Woo! <laughs> True businessmen! Capitalism, <laughs> baby! <laughs> nice. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Yes, there is. I'm gonna punch you back. <laughs> Charge me with assault. Yeah, I dare you. Lawyer, I can defend myself. <laughs> uh, I guess we go to Grossberg. Since he so kindly told us. Yeah. Did you know if you rent out um, uh -oh. buildings or... <laughs> or uh, like flats? You you shouldn't let lawyers live in them because they can defend themselves in court, so they are much more likely to sue. Oh my god! This is like an actual thing for a friend of ours. Uh, uh, yes, I think I remember. Hello, Grossberg. Grossberg. Hello? Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! <laughs> Jumping Jesuits! What? <laughs> no what now? Oh, you! What's wrong? He looks so pensive, like an old man at <laughs> oh the end God. of his days. Pensive. Jesus. Sunday. He really does look pensive. Huh? I'm not senile yet. Yeah. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him, that much is clear. The day's trial. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. Couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me a sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. Your <laughs> refusal. 
asked before, but why did you refuse a request for defense? I think I have a right to know. All right, Mr. Right. <laughs> Woo! They never stop. They never stop. It's way too late to stop. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's no oh, stopping. <laughs> No, no, I'm sorry, it's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. The trial is ongoing, <laughs> what do you mean you need more time? <laughs> he does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Mr. White. So I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg. I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh? What is it? Well, out with it, my boy. See, it's just... That big painting, that photo of Mr. White, why wouldn't you defend Maya? I feel like they all lead to the same thing. But I guess, I guess we should address the painting. Like, why is the painting gone? Yeah. Yeah. A gross bug, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said he had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you noticed? I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Your I lovers. Love oh, yes. <gasps> Wait, actually, I want to see what they say. Okay. Let's what do, do they talk about? Yes. Do we say it? Can we? Not something I can nah, claim to understand. <laughs> but you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't we? What, my boy? <laughs> I sent that painting to him. As a sign, a sign of undying love. <laughs> oh. My I'm boy, bad. please, you're letting your fences run away with you. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get these bizarre ideas? I, I don't understand how you could. That's because I'm not, we're not. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Enough. I'll swallow my pride and tell you all. <laughs> oh my god. I knew it. They are lovers. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck's sake, Phoenix. <laughs> I didn't expect them to go so hard on the idea. That's very nice. No, we are not lovers. <laughs> Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Bull Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have ah. guessed. Oh. The name on the back of those photographs. As you suspect that I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. But that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What he sees nothing more than the way of many years. The DL6 incident. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Faye. Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. 
As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her and in the end cleared her of wrongdoing. The murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Reason for blackmail. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense, the police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I thought the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, have a clo close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Okay. I guess we go check out Mia's office. It's funny, looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there, said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Charlie. It's the clue. Charlie is the clue. Always is. Mia's <laughs> favorite part of plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. An old movie poster. Apparently this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. We'll have to check it out one of these days. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order, let's take a look. Which files should I look at? What was it? DL6. Okay, so the first anyway. one. The first one. Let's see if there's a record in this file that catches my eye. Oh my god. Uh... Uh... <laughs> I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Get it out of my head. <laughs> a, B, F. Misty Faye. That's me and Maya's mother. Should I take a look? Yes, I don't see why not. I have. Oh, it's me. But I guess it's Phoenix reading, so. I have to tarnish the Fey name, leaving only these words my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones that made her mother blame herself in, her, in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I had an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and co coercion. His name is... Hmm, the record stops there. So me and you, Grossberg. I mean, of course she worked for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surprising that she did, though. Wait, Crossberg? Wasn't Crossberg just her mentor? Yeah. So I guess she, she learned a bunch from him. Yeah, but um, it's surprising that she would... Um, like, work for him while she knew that he sold uh, his mother out, pretty much, right? Hmm. And her mother. Hmm. Maybe she just wanted to find out the truth. Yeah. Let's check the other ones. Yeah. Let's see. J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this. Skim. 
Uh, well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. Biggest parts here that the ending is suicide. You. There's a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of this in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in this suicide. White drove them all to... I can use these new paper clippings. And let's find the most disturbing one. Newspaper clipping. Article about a politician suicide. The word white is written in pencil at the top. I guess that's it. <laughs> hmm. The sky is blue and so am I. <laughs> There's that hotel right across the way. What do we do now? Do we go back to Grossberg? I need a quick piss break. I'll be right back. Okay. Yes, yes. Beep, beep, break. I remember I wanted to look something up, but I forgot. I don't remember. No remember. I don't remember. Oh, I, I remember. Because mm. I think it's now that it's October, a bunch of anime stuff starts soon. So I oh, to check. yeah! Fall season! Yes, or winter yes. season, whatever it's called. I don't know. If I'm wrong, Char will correct me in five seconds. <laughs> It, is it fall season or winter season for the anime? I think it's... Do they call it... Do they do like fall season? Autumn season. Yeah, so it was neither. Cool. <laughs> yeah, fall, autumn. Yeah, they're basically the same. Hmm. If you speak American, <laughs> the only true way, the only free way to speak, I mean, what? Well, I only speak internet English. Yeah. It's like a weird mix between everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's so bad because in school, uh, you get teachers, like, if you're not from an English-speaking country, like, you have teachers that some teachers like American English better, and the others like mm -hmm. uh, British English better. And you just, because every year you get a, a different teacher, it just all gets mixed anyways. Yeah. And you just hear a bunch of different stuff, and then in the end you're just confused and you use everything. I mean, all of them understand you anyways, so... Yeah, but it's like, it, it, when you learn one thing and then they tell you, no, it's like that, and then it's just like... Oh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Such were, such were the ways, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> You just said, yeah, but, yeah, you're biased. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very biased. To be fair, <laughs> I hang... I, sh I I think I mostly learn British English, but... But, I don't know, I just took some things, I guess. My mind is just a mix of both. Yeah, I am also more... Mixing English, all the English. Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 Welcome back. Oh yeah, which one is American English? Autumn or fall? Fall. Fall. Okay, okay. Yeah, American English just lazier. Yeah. 
lazy English. Good. True, they do they do change some words where it doesn't make sense, like huh. <laughs> Soccer and football. <laughs> yeah. Well then. <clears throat> Let's go to cross work. Yes, yes. Present. Found this in Mia's files. So she was investigating Red White, as I expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. Yeah, they call football the one you don't play with your feet. <laughs> which is yeah. like dumb. <laughs> I don't think I can go to white again, can I? Just gonna beat me up again. Mm. <laughs> I bet he would. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Oh, everything is unchecked again. Oh. I think we're past needing to talk about April, May. I've got to put this guy on the spot and quick. <laughs> hmm, what's the matter? You seem distressed. Okay, so just maybe... This guy oh. is a pro at pulling the wool over people's eyes. Got to put him on the spot and quick. Stop that, your hot gaze is giving me goosebumps. Oh. <laughs> Blackmail. No point asking someone this crooked a straight question. Need some evidence I can use as ammo. What's wrong? Is something stuck to my face? Why, well, yes, there's my eyes and my nose and my mouth. But of course, I jest. You need not restrain your mirth, my friend. Mm. You what? Hmm. It is okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan sense of humor. I will not think less of you. Okay. Gonna beat us up. But let's do it. Yeah, let's go. This is the only clue that Mia left me. Better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? There's an article describing the suicide of a politician. It was embellishing secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? On this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Everyone with them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. We know he's blackmailed. Yes, yeah. yes. Blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You are threatening and coercing hundreds of others. We're involved in all of the suicide cases that me investigated. The company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong. <laughs> what is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. 
You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office, hello. Miss the wrong, we'll be leaving now. Yes, sir, I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. What? <laughs> You're wrong. You're wrong, I guess. <laughs> You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me. What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. And Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... A child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Oh. Or oh, sir, one moment, please. Why that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fay case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said he didn't want to go to court? Quietude, I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What, what man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. Killer man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look confident. I... I feel faint. Oh my god, I'm sure. I'm oh. sure. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. <gasps> butts, Harry Butts. <laughs> right, actually, Phoenix Wright. <laughs> my friend's name is Larry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, <laughs> right? <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fay. But what? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Poor well, Mr. Wrong. Number 8 to 37 p.m. Detention center, visitor's room. Can't you defend yourself in court? You're accused? 
think so. Yeah. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. Prosecution will be on it, of course. Edgeward included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refuse. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Does the other side of the room look the same? Probably, yeah. Uh, probably two <laughs> symmetrical sides. <laughs> Just now, yes. All thanks to you. Ha! Now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you? I explain what happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother. My sister. And now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Help Get me, me out. break out! <laughs> Get me out! <laughs> Go. Uh, what do I say? Well, the end may come out, right? If that's an idea. Yeah. Alright, you can be my defense lawyer tomorrow. Alright. Huh? Leave it to me. I'm me your sister after all. Lawyership runs in our blood. Was there ghost powers that run in your blood? <laughs> I'd better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy copy of Law for Rookies. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. Oh. Just a little, a little joke. No way. No, really, I no. was kidding, but thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. There really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no... Proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up on the defendant's chair myself for this case. With a true culprit appearing as a star witness. This is it, tomorrow it's me or him. To be continued. Very curious. Save your progress. Yes! Day 3 trial. It's time. To duel? Du -du 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 duel. <laughs> September 9, 9.52am, the F District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah! The Phoenix, look! Oh. Prosecutor Edgeworth.
I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. Hmm? I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony. If I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What, does White have the judge in his pocket too? So you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story. I'll do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? Guilty. We'll always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth. You've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix! Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not... I'll be defending myself. Oh yeah, there we go. What? Okay, let's do this. September 9, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number one. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like it's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise a objection about this, I suppose it's me. Yeah, yeah. sure. Crazy. Sir Edgeworth, your an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Faye? Hmm. I'm ever so sorry. Hello? Hello? <laughs> no, my mouth just wasn't... Uh, <laughs> Mr. White is a busy man, and besides... At the time, I thought that Ms. May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. <laughs> Great. He gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Please stop it. Oh. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> Where did that happen? Not in my room. <laughs> not mine either. No, it was from my side, it was just not in my room. Oh, damn, and it was that loud. Oh yeah, I, I can tell you, the door is thin as paper. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Please state your full name. 
If you wish to know the title of my personage. <laughs> uh, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my... <laughs> what? Locations? Locations uh, confuse you. Name. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, the ongoing meme of witnesses not giving their names. Oh. <laughs> These two are great together. <laughs> my name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. What? <laughs> I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. That's a different thing, though, President. <laughs> Did you know the victim is Mia Fey? Uh, that would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there? <laughs> Why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Ho ho ho. I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Mm. Thank Surprise you. attack. <laughs> alright, oh. alright. Sorry. I'm back now. Yes. Let him have it, Phoenix. Or get a cat. Oh. Let's see, it was about 9. Oh, oh, I believe. I was quietly pers perusifying, uh, that's reading to you, some papers by the window. And then I heard the bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky head man, attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Ah, that's the broken part. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testify, then I am afraid the defendant is guilty. Oh my god. Very well, Thank defendant. You. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Yes, your honor. All of this is great bullshit. Mm. It's around 9. Do we know? Do we have the time? I don't think so. We... See you tonight at 9. Yeah, okay, that's right. Mm. <laughs> Perusifying. Crucifying. Then I heard a bad lime coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. Then I saw him, a spiky haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Mm. The spiky haired? <laughs> oh, that's all. <laughs> That man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. 
Okay, maybe this will give me the results I wanted. But it just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Is it garbage? <laughs> Counting both eyes, 40. I mean... 40? Don't add them together! I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. <laughs> Whose side is the judge on, anyway? On their side! We know that! <laughs> and what did you do then? Uh -huh. I'll just keep get uh, keep... Pressing. The victim, she she get, ran away, but you gave chase. Hmm. Hold on, yeah, this could this could, this could this could give something useful. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprend. I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. I have where the lamp is. Now, the reason I checked May's testimony is because the uh, victim dodged an attack mm. then ran to the right. That's what I wanted him to clarify. Oh. Uh, they're both just making shit up anyways. Yeah. Objection. Wait right there. Mr. Wright, you've done your own grave. What is this? It said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. It literally stated that the victim ran right. Oh ho ho, it is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. Killer was here. The victim here. The victim ran to the left as you claim she did. She would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. When you find that odd. Oh. Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe you really did see the victim run left. Oh. I did oh. witness the killing. Wait a second. <laughs> Mr. Wright? Yes, your honor. Miss May says right and Miss White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? <gasps> Both, Both are, are right. right. They're both right. This is easy. Both witnesses are telling the truth. For once. <laughs> huh, I doubted. Uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. 
If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay and Co, of course. More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court where Mr. White was standing. Oh. Ho ho. The victim. It's actually him that was killed. Yeah, he's yes. the one that died. I think he was standing at the door, actually. <laughs> he was just passing by. Yeah, sure. <laughs> of course, we know it's him. No, he was actually hiding behind Charlie. No, but Charlie is on the <laughs> ground! <laughs> <laughs> oh, below Charlie. Rip Charlie. This is where he was. Look, the victim ran for the door. He was watching from this point to him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Exactly well, yeah. my point. <laughs> yeah. Order! I will have order! Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? R rep scallion. <laughs> rep scallion. You rep scallion. Mm, the postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho oh, ho oh, ho. Oh. You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing. The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, <laughs> Mister... might I be allowed to testify once more? Mr. Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Your Honor. Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck, you can fix a broken testimony, buddy. Miss Maya's testimony was correct, as was mine. Maze. Miss Maya. Yeah. Maya. <laughs> and for Maya getting dragged into this again. When you assaulted that girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Next to the last of her strength. She ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. I mean, this one's easy. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? No. <laughs> Hmm, that does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness testimony? You bet I will. I mean, yes, your honor. <laughs> Mr. Your honor. Mr. Your honor. I mean, isn't it just because in the autopsy it says uh, she only got hit once? Died from a blow of a blunt object. May have lived for a few minutes after being hit. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, press press me. Yeah. It didn't hit anyone. Now, now, Mr. Wright, there's no point hiding things from this court. I'm not hiding anything. 
The prosecution requests that the defense refrain from interrupting the testimony. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. <clears throat> Why is he mad at me? Uh, Chase turned to deliver the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. I think we can just present. Mm, yeah, sure. Me here. Were you watching both times? I suppose I was. You please excuse me for not testifying to this sooner. What do you think, Phoenix? I think we've got think him right. Got him. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think we've got him right where we want him. He slipped. Let him laugh for now. I'll soon wipe that smile off his face. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the autopsy report. Yeah. You should be right. Yeah. Mr. White! The victim died from a single blow. What do you have to say to that? Uh... Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, one of you told this court you were absolutely perfect. <laughs> hmm. I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to oh. request a 10 minute break. Yes, yes, quite. Objection! The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Oh. Yeah, we want justice. Don't let him get away. Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. Crowd's on my side, no sleeping out of this now, White. Mr. White? Uh, oh, okay. Hmm, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment, I saw Ms. Mia run to the left. The killer you attacked her. The killer you attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. <laughs> Hmm, twap indeed. <laughs> Very well, we may begin the cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor. My stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. I actually have no idea. I think the one when he says that thing fell, I think that's interesting to press. This one just. Okay. Because I'm curious. You heard that thing fall. What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, that? Um, the glass light stand. Right, the one that I've fallen over at the scene. Just leave. About that is odd. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. Huh? What? You're saying you saw the glass lights then? Y yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. 
Sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Oh, okay, okay, of course. So, we uh, we have the floor plan, right? Yeah, I don't exactly. Think we have seen yeah. It. yeah. How would he oh. have known? Yeah. This is like his line of sight. How would he have known? Yeah, easy peasy. Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass then. What? Look at this. These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, your honor. Now, look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well... Note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White... What do you have to say to that? <gasps> oh. Good music. Ridiculosity! <laughs> Mr. White... You are in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim. Could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. The only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. <laughs> I've been brought a cat. My cat. Can I him? Cat. I had to inject mine. Ow. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. They're... They want something. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Meow. 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 Mr. White? Cat. 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 Forget Ace Attorney, <gasps> we have cat. <laughs> cat is more important. Say something. Tell, tell chat something. <laughs> He's purring. <laughs> purr, purr. I'll Mr. keep him for now. <laughs> yeah. Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your <laughs> Honor. I, I miss Mia. Yeah, looks like we're about to get our verdict. Objection! That's far enough, Phoenix, right? What? Bye, bye, bye. I forgot about Edgeworth! <laughs> oh. Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crimes now? Mm hmm. What? What? I said you should confess your crimes. Elbow. Confess that you placed the wiretap. Uh, wiretap? Order, order! Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court. Oh! Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. 
He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law office of Miss Faye. What does ah. that have to do? Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mm. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? Correct? You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break! Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fay and Co. law offices. That is, when I saw the cursed light stand. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. No more cat. No more cat. Bye, Gladly cat. Your cat. Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. <clears throat> Wait. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to that office well before the murder took place. When he went to the place, he went to place the wire trap. Wire tap. He could have seen the glass light stand then. There go, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Um, leave it to me. I... I feel faint. <laughs> Again. Oh, oh. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fay and Co. law offices. Of course I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. So you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what I've fallen over by the sound. Correct, that is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine. Yeah, what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. What do we do? Oh... <sighs> In September, the week before the murder, I had entered the Fan Colo offices. I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. Ooh. Can you show the evidence we have? I don't think it's that one. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe we just 
press and see what happens. Mm -hmm. How does he know that it fell over then, though? Maybe because of the wiretap, because you could hear something fall, Oof. technically. But maybe just press everything. Oops. Do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Oh, right. I have entered the fan call offices. Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fane Cole Law Offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeward, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fane Cole Law Offices. Hmm. Why did you tap Mia's phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. I don't know about that. <laughs> mm. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality, sure. Of course. I didn't notice something as innocuous as a light stand. The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a beautatious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it, there's nothing there for me to press him on. Well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. Bluff something out of him. Uh, how do we do that? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't tell me I've run out of ammo. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright? Are you giving up? Yes, your honor. What? Phoenix! Huh? Phoenix over here! I know that voice. Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. Huh? Yeah. Where where am I? The waiting lobby. What happened? Oh right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, you finally awake. There he goes again. <laughs> hey, Phoenix! Duck? That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Your... I, uh... Didn't you know the Fey women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears there was enough to of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So Maya's channeling you, Mia. That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. 
It's what I came here to tell you. Hmm. But, but... We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court record, right? Um, oh yeah, the one you wrote Maya on? Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? A regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. One thousand dollars. Wow, big spender. Item last light stand. Date of purchase September fourth. Oh. September fourth. That's right. That's right. right. Phoenix. <laughs> I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Uh, no, was bitch bought a thousand dollar light stand. Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> Whoa! Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. Receipt updated. Receipt for a glass light stand. The date of purchase is the day before the murder. September 9, 1.16 p.m. Extra court courtroom number one. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant rather... Are you alright, Mr. Wright? Yes, sorry, Your Honor. Fine now. Then, let's start where we left off. Your Honor... There's nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant Phoenix Raid. Hmm... Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm... But, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Now we know what's not true. <coughs> yes. Let me just go for safety. Yeah, hmm. Ruth. Ms. April may knew the details of Ms. Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, we present here. Look closely at this. See how the word Maya written in, see the word Maya written in blood? <laughs> You're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The other side. Your honor. Could you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm... Well... A glass light stand! The date of purchase? Why? That's the day before the murder! You see? Mr. White... 
when you allegedly entered fan call offices at the beginning of September. This tent could not have been there. <laughs> well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. Uh oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. I think you'll agree that you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Boss achievable, yeah. Yeah. Boss achievable. Hmm. Very well. And that is all for the trial of. Objection! Not so fast, Phoenix, right? Eh? What? No way he can warm his way out of this one. Oh wait, I forgot the such word. There's a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there's no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Hmm. <sighs> Ergo. I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this manner. matter. Oops. Hmm. Another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. Oh. Oh my god. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Not getting another day. Object. Mr. Wright's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. If anyone is going to call Mr. Wright, Mr. White, Mr. White to trial, oh it would God. be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. Damn. What? Completion of the trial, Mr. Phoenix Wright will postpone until tomorrow. No! There's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edgeworth is sure to come up with or just make up something. After me, you sure have to help me and all. Mr. Your Honor. May I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. <laughs> yeah. The witness will stay. M Mia. Phoenix. Read this note out loud. Yep, yeah, what's this? Mia's memo, a list of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. Bet I am. <laughs> My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. The badge. The badge. Yeah. yeah. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. S stop, desist, halt. Please stop. Make him stop. How? Oh, how did you get that list? Mr. White. Mr. Kill, right here, right now. 
or else this list will be released to the press. I... Oh. I confess, I, I did it. I hit her, I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. <laughs> I don't think even Phoenix knows how he fucking died. <laughs> well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again! That was quite a spirited defense! Hmm. Yes, Your Honor. Guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well. This court fights the defense. Ahem. Uh -huh. Rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. <laughs> that is all. This court is adjourned. Yay. September 9 to 24 p.m. District Court, defendant lobby number one. Well, I'd never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I have both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risk a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget this as long as I live. <laughs> yeah, about that. As long as you live? My time here is running out. Oh my god. Sorry. Huh? <laughs> Maya's powers are still weak. I can't sta stay here that long. But what? No, there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. The chief! <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix? Can you come to the office tonight? Say, nine... Uh, nine... Yeah. <laughs> the office? I'll see you later. Chief, Mia! We're two minutes late. Pay and call our offices. Yeah, we are two minutes late. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came! Mia. I was kinda worried you might not. Oh, of course I came. Well then. I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? <laughs> Mia? No, not a burger. 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 <laughs> you should see your face. Mia. What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. M Maya? What, did I look like my sister? Look like you were her! Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Uh, Maya, why are you here? Because of this? See, Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of, huh? She means the office, this office. Someone has to help with the new Wright and Co. law offices, right? Who better but me, Maya Faye, reporting for duty? Wait, no, on second thought, 
let's make this casual. Yo, Nick, Mai here, ready to go get down to business. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? Why do they do that, actually? I don't understand how it happened in the English version. Because in Japanese he's called Naruhudo, and so they just call him Naruhudo. But like, I, I see. Mm. I don't quite know what... I think it's like slightly different in mm. Japanese. Okay, okay. I, I don't know how Nick happened. <laughs> I don't know why yeah. he's called Phoenix Wright. Yeah. <laughs> like, no one knows why they start okay. calling him Nick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We don't know. <laughs> but Larry does it as well. Yeah. It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Yeah. Nick. You know what this means? We're partners. You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in co law offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah! Thanks, Maya. Good luck, Phoenix. Always be here, watching. Right, okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy, burgers. No. Burgers. Not the burgers. There's a great burger joint. Just down the street. Come on, time's a wasting. Uh, okay, wait up. The end of episode two. That is. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Wow! Oh, it's time. Oh! Oh! It's this one. Okay, I see. Oh. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the picture we found earlier was just a picture of Misty Faye. Mm -hmm. Now, do we want to do episodes? How long have we been going for? I have about 30 more minutes and I need to drive my brother. So... Oh, then we I should see. call it and then just do episode 3 the next time around. Yeah, I okay. Feel. Mm, I guess we can do that. Uh, 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 spoilers. Ah! 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 <laughs> uh, spoilers. Hold on. Uh. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna be. That's it for today. Then nice. And are we doing this again Tuesday? Whatever we did last time worked fine and I think I can do that time again. Yeah. So Probably. it was Tuesday, right? Yeah. Wait what what day does Tuesday? Just, yeah, it's saved. Okay. Yeah, Tuesday is fine. Okay. Yes. Just... Eh, thank you. For Boris Attorney, it was fun. Yes. yes. Thanks for watching. Alright, stream. Yes, yes. It's gonna be it for today. Uh, I come back on Monday for Final Fantasy. I might go live early, do some like last weekly stuff and something like that. We have Raid as well. We're gonna be doing more P8S prog. And uh, yeah. Ace Attorney returns on Tuesday, so if you want that, please be around on Tuesday. I don't know about tomorrow. I've been thinking about something. So there might be a stream tomorrow. There's a game I've been meaning to play, because I played the whole series but one. 
And it's sad that that doesn't happen. And the game has been sitting on my Steam for a long, long time. So, yeah. But I'll leave the game a surprise. It's something I'm, I really, really like. Oh. So it's gonna be fun. It's also like oh, a, wow, a wow, really wow, well-known, wow. it's a really well-known game, but yeah. I, I also have to see still, like, how is it gonna run on stream? Because my PC, well, my PC is good, like, it's not, like, I wouldn't say it's amazing. <laughs> so I'll have to see how it runs. Anyway, yeah. That's gonna be it for me. Uh, the stream, yeah, thank you, Charlotte. It was a really fun stream. I really yes, yes. Ace Attorney, always fun. Yeah, there was I am memes. gonna throw you to ah. <laughs> I am gonna raid a friend that is doing a marathon stream at the moment to help oh. someone that is trying to move countries. It's a really oh. important cause, so if you guys could show your support, I would really appreciate it. They're playing Seven Days to Die right now, but they're gonna be switching through a lot of games. And yeah. They're gonna be playing a lot of games. I'm gonna raid Amico. I think it would be really nice if you guys. I think it would be really cool if you guys said hi. Show your support. Because yeah. It is a really, really important. They're gonna be going for at least a week, by the way. So. Wow. It's, a, it's gonna be a big stream. I mean, obviously they're gonna sleep and eat and stuff, but yeah. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it from us. We'll see. If you wanna drop a follow, I really appreciate it. If you wanna follow my Twitter, it's also there. If you wanna check out... Ray and Nekyo. Oh, wait, Nekyo's, Nekyo's not updated. Uh... Nekyo's no. username <laughs> is not that one, it's Nekyo VT now. I'll update I didn't it. You wanna be left out. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Ray's, Ray's link is right. You wanna I check? Not changed, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Come check say them hello. Out. <laughs> I'll say hello to Ray when they stream. And yeah. I'm gonna bail. I'm gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna end the stream. Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you all next time. Bye. 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 Bye.